Let us just give thanks to the Lord, right? Let us not wait for the big things and say, you know, I'll thank God when I have something big. The fact that you are still alive today, that's something big. That's something to celebrate, right? For you don't even know if you'll be alive tomorrow. And ask yourself, what kind of a person am I that I keep meeting such people, right? Ask yourself that question. What kind of a person am I? And look within. Maybe there's things that you need to resolve yourself, right? So that you can then meet the right people in life as well. <coughs> Greetings once again and welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back. Now, if you're a new viewer and you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you do not miss when a new video pops up, right? Now, keep in mind, guys, that you are now available on tiktok at sinner saved by underscore grace and you can be sure to find us there on that platform now also guys keep in mind that you are now available on youtube and this is to my podcasters you can find us on youtube at ashley jerera and you can be sure to find us there and find us on that platform now also guys keep in mind that you are now available as well on apple podcast anchor spotify google podcast overcast as well as on amazon music and you can be sure to find us on any of those six different platforms right for the podcast as well now today our topic for today says that um god rewards you for the things that you do right god rewards you accordingly not to the things that you yourself did not do but accordingly to the things that you did and that is what we are going to be talking about today now to find out more stick around now for today we are going to be reading from the book of second samuel chapter 22 verse 25 to 28 right yes um from verse 25 until verse 28 and that is where we're going to be getting our context for today and so from verse 25 it reads as follows therefore the lord had recompensed me according to my righteousness according to my cleanliness in his eyesight verse 26 with the merciful thou will show thyself merciful, and with the upright man thou will show thyself upright. Verse 27. With the pure thou will show thyself pure, and with the fraud thou will show thyself unsavory. Verse 28. And the afflicted people thou will save, but thine eyes are upon the haughty, that thou mayst bring them down. Now, as we've just read in the Bible, right? David now, he remember we talked about uh, it on the previous episode, right? Of how you must give thanks unto the Lord for the things that he has done for you. And we said that we shouldn't wait for you to have uh, big things, you know, big achievements for you to end up saying, no, I thank you God for this. But we talked about as well the small things in life. And if you have not watched that episode, I'm not going to preempt it and talk about it here on this one. But if you have not watched it, I will leave the link right here so that you can be able to go and view it and watch it right how we talked about giving thanks to the lord so now when we come to chapter 22 verse 25 david is now saying that the lord has recompensed me according to my righteousness remember our topic for today says that god will reward you accordingly now david here is saying that the lord has recompensed me according to my righteousness so then a question then comes so if david was not righteous how was the Lord going to recompense, recompensate him, right? How was the Lord going to do that? For Because here the Bible clearly tells us, David is saying that the Lord had recompensed me according to my righteousness. So that means if David was not a righteous person, it's clear that also God was going to recompensate him, right? The same thing that he did here according to his righteousness but in this time it was going to be according to his unrighteousness guys so this is a lesson that you can also get from this um when you go to verse 25 that whatever it is god rewarded david for his righteousness right and also if david had done things that were not righteous he was also going to be saying the same thing that that um the Lord had recompensed me according to my unrighteousness. And if we look at previous episodes, right, where we were talking about David, there are th certain episodes where we talked about how God visited David when he did things that were not according to God. So this is now um, something that we can then take forward into our lives. God will recompensate you according to either your righteousness 
all your unrighteousness. Now, when you come to verse 26, the Bible then tells us that with the merciful, God will show himself merciful. With the merciful, God will then show himself merciful. And then the question then comes. So if God shows himself merciful to the merciful, how does he do that? Does, does he does he does he open the skies or open the heavens, you know, open the heavens and then he says, I am merciful to you. You are my son. I am merciful to you. This is a question that came to me. Then I came to realize that, you know, maybe that's actually not the case. You know, maybe that's not the case um, that, that God uh, operates in. Maybe God then shows himself merciful to you through the people that you meet in life. Think about it, guys. Maybe God then shows himself through the people that you meet in life. So if you are not a person that shows mercy unto other people, right, then you are, you are likely, you are most likely as well to meet people that will not show mercy unto you. Right, and this is what the Bible says. So when we when we are going on about our lives, guys, let us keep in mind that if you also want to meet people that are merciful, you as well must become a merciful person. Now, when we come to verse twenty-seven, the Bible then tells us that but the God God has His eyes upon the afflicted, right, and He will save them. God has His eyes upon the afflicted, and He will save them. But then when we come and we read further in the verse. The Bible then says that according to those that are haughty, and we were talking, talking about pride the other time, and I'll leave the link right here so that you can be able to see when we talked about the five dangerous things of pride, of or, what, or rather what pride can then lead to. And here the Bible is telling us in verse 28 of chapter 22 that the haughty, in other words, the proud, God has his eyes upon those people so that he may bring them down. And we talked about this, guys, in the previous episode where we talked about how we should not be people that have pride, people that boast over the things that God himself gave unto us. So as we go on about our lives, guys, keep in mind God rewards you accordingly, right? God rewards you accordingly. So if you are a person who has pride, remember, the reward is coming. The reward is coming. And he says that his eyes are upon you so that he might bring you down. So then how, how can you yourself then walk in the pathway that is right? How then can you be a person that meets merciful people? How can you be then a person that does not have pride? How then you, can you then be a person that has a pure heart according to what the Bible is saying? So that, uh, you know, your things can move well, now, if we take our Bibles and we go to verse um, 33, yeah, verse 33 of chapter 22, it then says that God is my strength and my power, right? And it then goes further to say that, and he maketh my way perfect. He maketh my way perfect and he is my strength and my power. Now, why does David say all of this? Why does it then go further and say, he maketh my way perfect and um, his way rather himself is perfect. Now, if we take our Bibles again and we go to verse 31, it says that, and as for God, his way is perfect, right? And the word of the Lord is tried and is a buckler to all men who trust in the Lord. His way is perfect, right? So God can only make your way perfect because his ways are perfect perfect right so you can only meet merciful people if your ways are merciful as well you can only meet people that have pure intentions if your ways are pure as well right and this is what god is telling us today and this is our message for today guys so keep in mind that you can only be meeting the merciful people if you are merciful you can only meet the pure in heart if you appear in heart as well. So instead of looking out and wondering, why do I keep meeting this type of people? Why? And you know, it frustrates. And you're like, if you may be getting frustrated and you're asking yourself, why do I keep meeting people who are like this? Why do I keep meeting people who are like this? Perhaps you should take a look at yourself. Take a look at yourself and do a self-introspection and ask yourself, what kind of a person 
am I that I keep meeting such people, right? Ask yourself that question. What kind of a person am I? And look within. Maybe there's things that you need to resolve yourself, right? So that you can then meet the right people in life as well, right? And those things of saying opposites attract and all of that. No, when it comes to this, guys, when it comes to these matters like this, opposites do not attract right for if you are a merciful people person you're going to meet merciful people there's no way that uh, uh and you know it might happen that you might meet people who don't have mercy and you're a merciful person but then god is the one that is then going to fight for you because his ways are perfect as well guys so let us just keep that in mind so as we go on about our lives let us know guys let us put make god our strength and our power as it says in verse 31 he is a buckler to all men who trust in him so there are certain things that could then be out of your control right that you will not be able to fight for yourself that is when god steps in and he fights for you so as we go on with our lives let us keep in mind god will reward you accordingly according to the things that you do and if you were tired of meeting people and all of that and you think to yourself why why do i keep meeting people like this maybe you should do a self introspection and look within and you'll find the, all the answers that you are looking for may god bless you and may i may we start making better decisions guys and it's my prayer that may this messages not come in one ear and go the other one may god bless you so guys this thought came to me like after after i was done recording right so there's a verse in the bible that says that well, for whatever man sows that shall we reap as well right so this is what we should then take into consideration could you attract something that you didn't sow yourself right so what character are you sowing in yourself today what character are you sowing are you sowing a character of being merciful or are you sowing um a character of of hate of love of anything that whatever it is that you're so guys just keep in mind that it is going to also come back to you as well so yeah this is just something a food for thought that i had that came after i was done recording it all so yeah keep it in mind and know that whatever it is that you do the same shall also come back to you so this is something that i'll leave somewhere some, somewhere here somewhere here i don't know where i'll put it but yeah somewhere somewhere here you will just see it right so yeah until next time we tend to ask god like oh god i think this is enough i've had enough please please stop like i've i've, I've had enough you know and we try to negotiate with god but it is not for you to decide that okay i think this punishment yeah god i think yeah i think we've we've gone far now i think we can relax